In this video, I am going to show you how you can download a WordPress theme from Inverto Element and how then you can set up that theme into your WordPress based website. So you must be familiar with Inverto Element and I have a couple of videos on how you can set up the Elementor kits that comes with Inverto Element subscription. So for this tutorial, you need the Inverto Element subscription. If you don't have any subscription, you can send me a message on WhatsApp or you can send me an email and ask me for the subscription for very minimal charges. All right. So from here, what you want to do is to go to the Inverto Elements website and you need to make sure you are logged into your Inverto Elements account. From here in the categories, make sure you select WordPress and then in here you can search for theme. You can specify the niche that you have and here you can see uh, in the categories you have this option that says theme. So if you will click on themes, now you are seeing the themes only that comes on Inverto Elements. You have a number of themes related to blog, related to e-commerce website, related to keep cryptocurrency digital marketing agency website podcast and you name the things there are themes already available for all of those things so let's just pick one of these themes from there um, let's pick this cool wordpress theme from here you can see this is the education theme uh, in here you can read about the description this theme is powered by elementor page builder includes the custom elementor widgets fluid responsive design it has and it has teacher classes blog and contact pages it supports the wordpress version 5 plus and then it is well documented with the source code 100 percent seo friendly course browser compatibility quick start documentation as well all right once you will uh, read all of those things and you will feel like uh, you want to use this theme you can simply click on this download button once again you need the subscription of Inverto element for this so once done you can create a new project and then you can uh, add that and download that uh, theme from the inverter element so that you will have a license key i don't need a license key for now so i'll download it without the license from there and then i'll download it in my computer so here you can see zip is downloaded we can open the zip file and inside the zip file we have this theme and uh, the theme contains the main theme file and the child theme and then it also contains a plugin here so let's just extract these things on our desktop in a new folder all right so i have extracted these things on my desktop in a new folder now in order to set up all of these things log into your wordpress dashboard and once you will log into your wordpress dashboard what you want to do is to go to the appearance and once you will go in the appearance you want to click on add a new theme and then in here click on upload theme click on choose file here is the folder so click on the folder and here we only have this plugin coming up. So we need to figure out what is actually happening on the desktop. So here is the folder and here we only have the plugin and we haven't, I think, uh, extracted this theme files from there. So let's just extract this on the desktop in this folder. All right, let's just check now. And here we have a theme folder. All right, going back here, click on the choose file. Then in here in the themes, this is the theme that we want to use. So click on this and then click on install. Now you will have to wait until the theme will get installed. Here you can see the theme is installed. Then you can click on this activate button. So click on the activate button and the theme will get activated. Now, if you go to the front end of our website, you can see the appearance has been changed based on the theme that we have applied. Now, let's just click on begin installing plugins. But before, let's just import the plugin that comes with the theme package. That plugin is essential for the theme settings. So click on choose file and then in the plugins, select this Shelly core uh, plugin. So click on activate plugin here and now we have the core plugin. Now you can click on begin installing plugins and you can install all of these required plugins. 
so once these uh, plugins will get activated you might get this error don't worry about this you can go back to the plugins and once you will go back to the plugin you will find the plugin here don't worry this error comes sometime so you don't have to worry about this every time you can see this time a uh, the plugin get installed um, successfully so sometimes you will have to manually activate this plugin and sometimes the themes doesn't allows you to install the plugins in bulk so for now i have activated all uh, installed all of these plugins so i'll select all of these plugins and then you can activate this and then simply click on apply button so once you will click on apply button here you can see all of these plugins that were required are already being activated on our website so in here uh, in any of the theme that you will choose you might get this uh, extra plugin that says one click demo import so the function of this one click demo import plugin is to import the demo data that comes with the theme so click hover over to this appearance and then click on import demo data and then click on import demo data here you can see it says whether you want to install these plugins we can click on continue and import and it will start importing this demo data for us we'll have to wait until the theme will start importing and finish importing this demo data so right here you can see our theme demo data has been imported successfully and if we go to the front end of our website and if I refresh our website here, you can see that the demo data is already being imported. Now everything on this website is created using the Elementor page builder. You have the complete control over however you want to customize all of these things that are showing right here. If you don't know how you can customize any website using Elementor, I have a complete playlist on my channel. You can go to my channel and you can look at that playlist and learn how you can create websites using Elementor. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have learned something new from this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.